According to the investment database Crunchbase, black women received less than 0.35% of venture capital spending in the U.S. in 2021. The Fearless Fund is hoping to bridge that gap. It's a venture capital firm dedicated to investing in women entrepreneurs of color. And now it's being sued by a conservative group over claims of racial bias. That group's leader is the same man who led the fight to take down affirmative action in higher education. And joining us now is Fearless Fund co-founder and CEO Arian Simone and national civil rights attorney Ben Crump. Thanks to the both of you for being with us. Thank you for having us. All right, Aaron, we'll start with you. What was your reaction when you first heard about the lawsuit? When I first heard about the lawsuit, I actually thought it was chat GPT. I, we got emails and I thought, okay, we're being pumped. But when I realized it was real, I immediately called our, one of our attorneys, Ben Crump, and I said, we have a situation and we need your help immediately. But we knew that we would continue the work that we do at the Fearless Fund. We invest in women of color businesses and we know that it's needed and necessary and we were not gonna let this stop us. So this lawsuit targets the fund's $20,000 grant program. It alleges the money's only open to black female entrepreneurs, and it's calling it a violation of the Civil Rights Act. Uh, what's your response to that? Well, we have two vehicles at our company. We have our foundation that awards grants, and we also have our fund that makes investments. At the foundation where we award grants, we have awarded over 350 grants, deployed over $5 million in grant capital. And on our fund side, we have invested in over 40 companies and have deployed over $26 million in investment capital. The grant that they are referring to for the $20,000 is a partnership that we have with MasterCard. And MasterCard has a commitment to the black community stating that they would like these initiatives to take place and we've partnered with them on their initiative. And Ben, the man behind this lawsuit, we talked about it, helped to take affirmative action down uh, at the Supreme Court level. Uh, how confident are you that he won't be successful this time around? Well, DeMarco, he's on the wrong side of history. And no matter what intellectual justification of discrimination the courts try to impose, the court of public opinion has spoken on this issue. And what Arian Simone and Ayanna Parsons have done is sea changing. They have created a seat at the table for women, especially women of color, and this is but a frivolous attempt to stop the progress of women. They won't be successful. Erin, I'm so curious because a lot of people are calling this a test case. What do you think is at stake here? A lot is at stake here. We are not the focus. We are just the lawsuit. So what I mean by that is this case is a precedent case. It's a case to create a baseline so that any other DEI funding, any other funding that is beneficial to women or people of color is what's at stake. That is what is at stake here. And Ben, with that said, uh, why do you believe race-based policies are being targeted here in the United States? I think that they are trying to roll back the civil rights. They're trying to roll back the progress that women and minorities have made. When you look at these statistics, they are deplorable. I mean, less than 0 0.035. And so they're saying, oh, that's so awful that now white men who are underprivileged are gonna suffer, that we got to sue these young black women for doing something remarkable, for raising $100 million to help invest in women to finally have access to capital. And how's that bad? How's that unlawful? I mean. What it speaks to is our children being able to see what's right and what's wrong, and they are watching us. Supreme Court, they are watching us. We will be watching this case mm -hmm. as well. Fearless Fund co-founder and CEO Arian Simone and National Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump, thank you both for being here with us. It's good to see you guys. Thank, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.